Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm Mr. Purple Boy, anonymous from Sweden. We're going to play the classic map with progressive capitals. Now, these settings often go very long, but I'm hoping we're going to be playing a 30 or 40 minute game. I'm going to try. I'm going to be the fourth position purple player with all of my troops trapped behind pink in Australia. Disgusting. Actually, Southern Europe is nice for the way that it cuts the map kind of in half, right? North and South right here. But like North Africa is great for like, I'm going to take Africa, but long term, North Africa is probably not great because you get card blocked easy in Europe. Okay, wait, what? Pink and black go here? Okay. <clears throat> Why? I mean, if I go here, this is also card blockable because Ukraine, they just two-point this. So no matter which way I go, it is definitely card blockable. But it has access to in here and up. I think I'm going to go in Europe. It gives me more access to the board. Because I think even, like, who knows? Maybe I take Africa at some point. Maybe I don't. But, like, if I do take Africa, I can just go Brazil, Africa. Or Brazil, Southern Europe, I mean. <clears throat> the Great Rim Dingo in the Congo. Gener Greater Congo and Braza Brazzaville. Congo capital. Oh, we're talking about making a map pack where I make the maps and then I have to create territory names for my map pack. R Ram Dungling Zone. Ram Dingle Ravine, Cleavage County, Dude's Hideout. Oh my god. Dude, see, you guys could help me name the territories. Hell yeah. I was hoping for Noob Guinea. Fuck yeah. Oh, my cap, you mean? Dude, Christy Boss, thanks for the follow on kick. Normally I don't get very many kick alerts. Happy to have you in here. Every cap is card blockable in classic caps. You are correct. We are playing progressive capitals on the classic map. And we got alliances off, portals off, fog and blizzards are on. Uh, wait, whoa! What? Did you guys see this? Sub. I didn't think these guys were both going to cap in here. That's terrible. Okay, one, two, three, four. Do I go for Europe? I made a joke map for that contest. Nobody cared. No, yeah. So I, if I do put all that effort into like making some kind of map pack, I wouldn't make a joke map pack. I would put a lot of serious effort in and actually to, to try to create something that we would play on. Like I would want all of the maps I create to be either competitively viable or epic and ranked. Right? Like if I try to create something that's like Europe Advanced, I would want it to be epic for ranked capitals. And then if I was... The rest would be... I would be trying to create something... That does great in tournament. Okay, well, we're going to do this. Let's let these guys have their own fun down in Africa. I bless you down in Africa. You guys can be the reins. Turn five cap run? I mean, that'd be... Don't mind if I do. Noob cap land, Fiesta dog town. I put effort into it, but there were funny names. Oh, fair, fair. These players heard that stacking your cap to get your capital, your capital is a good strategy, but they thought it meant stacking them vertically. Ah, so I'm in a good position because my capital is stacked on top of two others. I think the community is ready for 150 to 200 territory maps, especially the top players. Um, if they could code the game in a way to have eight or 10 players in a lobby and then have maps that are 120, 150 territories or something. I, I would love to see something like that, 100%. I think right now in the four to six player range where it's mostly six player, I think de designing settings uh, for six player for tournament at least that are balanced, you kind of want to make sure everybody starts on either 13 territories or on 11 territories. You don't really want six players to start on about 12 because then you get... You can get into a little bit of like a issue where the first couple people start with four troops, then they hammer the other people down and they get less. 
I mean, it makes third position work. It's not the end of the world, but like, it's not the most ideal scenario. So if you're going to set something up, you probably want to create the most ideal scenario. Andre with 300 bits. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, Andre. Blue seems novice. Yeah, he was kind of rolling out his troops a little bit crazy. I'd rather have smaller turn timers than bigger maps. I would like turn timers to go up in increments of 15 seconds and maybe start at 30 seconds. Because there's a, a couple settings in the Kill Feed Open where I would have preferred to use 75 second turn timer. And I think 75 would have been perfect. But because we couldn't use 75, I had to like make a judgment call on do we do 60 or do we do 90? And then I get a, I get everybody's opinions on it and then we kind of collectively make a decision. I ultimately choose, but I try to get as much input as I can. But like, if I could just jump to 75, then I wouldn't actually have to do that for those, right? I could just not have to worry about it. Hmm. Bring this back over. Congo, baby! Let's go. I've been waiting for custom blizzards to be a thing. Custom blizzards would be sick. Uh, oh my god, I thought he was going to raw dog it. Imagine you could make custom blizzards and you just load into Classic Fixed and like every lobby people are hosting. Uh, so the only downside with Classic bl or uh, Custom Blizzards is... The crazy blizzards you create on YouTube, like these crazy blizzard games, they would be so common, you guys would be sick of them. Because every lobby would just be Ukraine and Middle East and Greenland blizzards, or Ukraine, Middle East and Kamchatka blizz blizzards with a portal in the middle to hold the whole section, like something crazy like that. Or like, yeah, Ukraine, or, or like, uh, let's go Brazil, Greenland, and Ukraine. Like, like, people would just crazy blizzard combo after crazy blizzard combo repeatedly. <clears throat> I had Ukraine and Middle East one last night. Yeah, my favorite games have been, on Classic, have been Ukraine and Middle East blizzards. And I think I've had it a few times where I had Ukraine, Middle East, Greenland, and then Ukraine, Middle East, uh, Brazil. I've had... What have I had? I think I've had Middle East Kamchatka, so Ukraine was a one point down here. I've had, uh, I've had, what is it? China, Ural, and Middle East blizzards. So Australia came all the way out to Ukraine as a one point, just for Australia, this little funnel. I I've had stuff like that too. I'm slowly chunking my way to a place that I want to be. Killed it. You're so greedy. Nobody's ever going to let you hold Europe. I want to... This setting lasts forever. These guys took caps to trade for infinite. These guys have caps that can trade for infinite. Like, what am I supposed to do? Where is orange, by the way? Probably in here somewhere, right? Like, these guys are already infinite trading here. Did anybody start with seven yet? Pink's about to. Yeah, and then nobody else has, right? Five, five... Five, five, five. Every phone number in Hollywood. Hey, Kilted. I love your and Kill Pete videos. They make my day. Ah, uh, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Doing the best possible to try to get the best games we can. I know Pete works his ass off, and uh, so do I. But that's the best part. Is they, like it's it's actually genuinely a fun game to play for the most for the most part. So <clears throat> I had a Ukraine, Middle East, and Central America today. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Phil, Philo Ginny with the Prime stuff. Thank you, man. Ukraine, North Africa, and Alaska. Ukraine, North Africa, and Alaska. Huh. Yeah, those are all crazy blizzards. Dude, why are you making me taste it? Orange is starting with eight. So he has South America and 12 plus territories and he's about to hold North America too. Mm -mm. So can I be friends with him? You think?
The four on two worked. What's up, Shekhar? The player base is large enough for a ranked matchmaking playlist with a pool of maps and settings. So I, I suggested that too. Uh, I created a notepad file on all the things I think Risk needs to be brought, uh, to make it blow up and be like a mainstream game. I, I talked to like all the top players or most of them in the scene and we came up with a list. I, I, uh, I got some help writing it so it was clean and organized and structured and then I sent it to SMG. Uh, their, their entire focus right now is on this network update though. So I think once that network update is over, they seem a lot more interested in listening to us and trying to work with us right now. So I'm pretty optimistic after the network update that we'll be able to uh, achieve something. Yeah. Look at this. Absolute chicken wusses. One and two. This is how they're going to play the entire game. Cap in Australia, take a card and pass for an hour. Orange is not a friendly neighbor. Go down. I just want to hold Europe, man. I, you, you get to hold North America. Why do you have to be a greedy bitch? Let me have something. I hate it when people get a four on two and an I don't face red droopy eyes, but I did get a seven on seven with four left over. Well, four on two is 75%. You should win four on two. Possible collaboration? No. I think it's just, this is, these settings have been broken for so long and so many people have seen how broken they are for so long on everybody's channels and in playing it that they just know if you just cap stack infinitely in Australia, you're going to get top three until you get card blocked or, or killed. So they just do this and then wait. Like the bonuses mean nothing, right? I The only reason I'm playing these settings is because I knew nobody was going to find me in them. And then alternatively to that... I'm going to play them and I'm going to try to play around the blizzards and get a bonus and snowball. Obviously, I can't snowball. Orange is the one snowballing, so. Got to chill. Are you doing stream on Twitch and YouTube both or YouTube only? Uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Kick right now. All three. Yeah, yeah. Orange has both Americas and a cap somewhere in the middle here. What is this? You You can do it. Come on. It's not your first time, and it won't be your last time. You have what it takes. Come on. Don't look back. Don't hold yourself back. You can do this. You can do this. You can make it happen. Come on. Fuck. I was rooting for you, dude. I was rooting for you. I was fucking rooting for him, man. I tried. I thought he had it. Sad. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Orange has the 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 whole yeah. If, if 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 you misunderstood what I said, if I said he has the Americas or America, whatever, like I we know he's got this whole section. Yeah, he had South America and then he took North America the last turn. I was hoping he'd let me hold. <clears throat> Forty one on one is a big. I man, I was rooting for that guy so hard to do it. Yeah, he might be disconnecting. Bro is scared. This is really my favorite map. It's hard to beat. It's a great map. It's just unfortunate that Capitals kind of. I wonder if there's a way to structure capital so they would work here. Is he actually nine on fouring me? No. He wants to come around. You'll see my 17 now. If pink bots, it will go into him. What is this?
Blue made trade after green and kill me? I get broken again anyways, but whatever. <laughs> Orange is a bad neighbor. We can go to war and die together. I actually don't care if we lose the game, right? Like, it's just rating points. <laughs> I would rather go to war with Orange than do what these guys are doing any day of the week. They're convinced that everybody's excited about the new maps, but we want fun and customizable game features. Well, I think there's a road to that potentially in the future. Like, I'm not just trying to play, like, uh, defense for SMG, right? Obviously, they could have done more over the last years, but they're, they're like, they have different departments, right? And then there's, there's a design department for, like, map design and emotes and cosmetics. Like, there's a design department for all of that. Okay. He tried to take green's cap? Was that a green cap hit or, or that would have been a green cap hit, right? Maybe green's almost dead. <clears throat> Maybe I can kill green for three. Just pop and pop, pop. So, like, it's not like they can take the designers, the graphic designers, the, the map people and the emo people and just be like, hey, you guys now are going to create uh, or, or code something something more functional, right? So they, they so that department still is going to exist. They, they're going to create what they create. And I guess the coders and the people that work in that kind of area... They're so focused on the network update, which fixes a whole bunch of stuff, apparently. We'll see. That uh, once that's done, that's when we kind of go and we're like, okay, now those guys are available. We've got ideas for you. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. What's he doing? He's taking Australia now. That pink's gone. What's up, Crowlock? I'm hating on orange like a true ginger. I was orange last game, or two games ago. Out of curiosity, why'd you pick the map if that's your opinion about it? Win rate or viewer preference? No, like, I, this map can be fun. The The occasional game on this is 25-minute Fiesta, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, I, when I host lobbies, I, I kind of try to host in a way that it's harder for people to join it and ruin it. So I, I thought I could probably get away with a classic uh, with this. I'm going to offer a fist bump, but I bet he comes right into me. How weak is green for death, though? <clears throat> He's breaking me. Or can we be friends? I send a fist bump. And now, I, perfect. I'm not going to hit him now. How deep is green in here? Mm -hmm. It wasn't green that he hit. It was orange? It wasn't green that he hit? Does he kill blue? No. He's going into orange too. Are blue and green both slamming orange? If they are, then it's what I'm asking for. No. Huh. He's card blocking blue. I'm gonna do the, I don't know what's happening. I'm going to lose this to Pink. Pink bot will come over and destroy Europe anyways. So I did get the troops for one turn. That was cool. Or is Orange fully off cap? Maybe. It's possible. I'm not strong because... Uh, as I said, like, I I'm fighting for dumb shit because I'm trying to have fun. Instead of doing what Black's been doing. <clears throat> and what Pink was doing before he botted. I fell asleep to a playlist of your streams the other day. And uh, just to be woken up to a... Hey, Crowlock. Man, I was tripped out for a bit. Fair, fair. Orange strikes me as the kind of dude to not leave troops on his capital. Yeah, you guys are probably all right. Orange probably has very little on his cap, or maybe none. There are those, like, it's cool to see, like, some players are the, are that type of player where they do that. Does he put all five here? Yeah. 
So blue is card blocked and going to be stacking on Egypt. And I think green's going to roll that at some point for next to nothing. Huh. Yeah, pink definitely comes into me now. And it's going to surround black's capital. Maybe actually it doesn't come into me because it wants to stay attached to the 37. Yeah. It hit in here. Okay. He gets 13 again. I'm hoping he doesn't break me again. I didn't hit him when he didn't hit me. Green kind of card blocks himself. Yeah. Actually, you're right. Green did card block himself. Green's only card now is to go through orange. He's going to hit me again. How come your hair is ginger? Is there any reason? Uh... Why? Why? And now I don't care though, like, okay, cool. There you go. Go get pink? Are you killing pink? No. Black's on five. Let's be real. We we have to trade. Okay, okay. You guys want to see. You guys want to see? He's gonna feed me orange. To the left? What do you do? Go left. How big is this? Oh no, I'm card blocked. I better skip and not fortify so I can stay card blocked. <clears throat> if things go well, I can kill orange on three. He does have a 20 something here, but I feel like he's gonna start hitting with it or something. I don't know. Oh, baby. Spode attack with a prime sub. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Green is a genius. He's a special boy. Um, pink gets 35. It's going to trade in here. Black is crying. Why? Dude, if, imagine pink killed black. I would... If pink killed black right here, I win the game. Raw doggy tuna time? It was too much to ask for. It was too much to ask for. Kyle wanted a fiesta. He got a fiesta. You're damn right. Sometimes you get them. How much is this? If, if, if green wasn't going to roll it, how much is this? I mean, I get the one card of blue unless orange takes it. I mean, if orange takes the one card of blue, it just puts him on four. I'm, he's still killable, theoretically, depending on what. This stack here was a 26 or something, right? Orange's last turn. 30, 29, 27, 26, 25. And then he went here to 24. He's going to try to connect and fortify back in. If he has no trade on three, he's dead. We're praying that orange has no trade on three. Comes all the way back.
green one in Africa. Oh, somebody called it before the game. He's like, you had two excellent games, so when you need a trade next, you're not going to get it till five. Who said that? Somebody said that between games. Nah. Chainfire with the resub. Dude, what's up, man? Hey. What's up? I hope you're doing well, man. Shit. Tier three Twitch subscribe. Thank you, man. Am I ever going to Europe like JJ? I'm going to Europe next month. That's the plan, at least. Take Europe? No, I want to keep this 25 open to orange. My thought was just in case I don't have a trade, I want this 25 to has, have access to orange fully. Orange is going to have a trade on three anyways. I'm so... How are you so lucky? Ugh. No, no, yeah. So I could take Europe, but it doesn't. That, that, that's not what I want. The 25, I need it to kill orange. If I have no trade, which apparently I don't. Maybe black goes for an orange kill and fails. No, doesn't do, does nothing. Black is surrounded by the pink bot, though. Orange gets six for his territories and South America. Trade on three. Nope. Okay, I thought he was going to do this. I'm going to lose this 31 regardless, right? He's going to get 50 some odd troops, make this an 80. Yeah, it's 100% regardless. Let's just see. Fuck yeah, we got one. We got a trade, baby. Woo, yeah, green's still blocked. I was hoping he'd hit this, but Brazil must be a nice size stack. <laughs> No! A little scary now. A little scary. Lucky trade on five. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. Imagine. Imagine this man has no trade. The pink bot trades on three. It's just going to surround black. That's excellent. Because if the pink bot didn't trade, black was probably going to trade, kill it, trade. So pink bot surrounds the black cap. Makes black have to pay expensive cards. Meanwhile... Orange has no set on four. Orange is going to have a set on four. Hmm. Black doesn't set. Oh, yeah, yeah, Wes, that's definitely happening. There's nothing I can do about it. Orange has a set with a wild card left over. Oh my god. No, he would have set on three. He definitely would have set on three. That's a tease. Glad I put a little extra in. Oh my god, am I ever glad I put extra in. Because I can kill green for a trade too, right? <clears throat>
I wanted to get the 14 away because pink's going to roll it, right? So I, I save the 14 troops, but I also give green a card if he really wants. Black trades for 60? Okay. That's amazing. Pink is buffering between me and black. Yeah, perfect. What's his plan? He's going looking. Oops. Yeah, what are you going to guard with? <laughs> okay. Card block black into pink. And give green a card. Yeah, he should have abandoned his captain or pink. Oh, green, why are you breaking all my stuff? Oh, man. Oh, no. This is the... <laughs> oh man, oh man. Sisu Sisu with the Prime sub. Thank you, man. Welcome in. Oh, three months. Not welcome in. Thank you for the resubscribe. We got a fiesta of a game, baby. Does Pink keep the kill uh the, the, the block up, I mean? That's fine. Presumably black gets, I mean, he might get through the 10. We'll see. 10 on 10? Or you hit pink. He might go for a pink kill here. Pink kill into a trade. How cheap's the pink kill, I think? Pink's been trading. Green's the one that missed cards for a few turns, so greens should be have less troops than pink, depending on how much pink hit out here. <laughs> how do I card block myself faster? Green. Gross. I thought about not killing green and seeing if I could let him get a fourth card. Dude was holding a wild! Now we got dudes and a wild card. Please trade pink. Trade. If pink doesn't trade, we're in trouble. Damn. Wait, black's crying. Maybe black has no trade on four? And no... Oh! You want to feel it?
You need a set on five or you're screwed. I will try. All right, Black, what do you got? He has a set. Okay, why is he crying? He trades, kills pink trades? Or is pink too strong? He did waste some troops hitting my cap over here and attacking through last turn. I think he's going to get it. Be an interesting 1v1. Yeah. The problem is, like, if I went for the pink kill and left green alive, green would have traded inside of me. And probably hit a cap or something. Green is a, green was a lower skill player, so... Does he hit that? I think he might be off both caps, by the way. Oh, doesn't hit the cap. He's on three. So the card block properly, let's see. He's gonna have this, right? Yeah, 26 on 35. No trade on three? Uh, Sam, what's up? I'm only here for the feet. Thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> Still easy carbon. Yeah, yeah, we should have them. He's rolling my stacks. Pain. He's not even card blocking me or trying. Okay. Technically, I could card block him without trading. These card blocks, and I didn't have to use my wild card. I may have to use it now, but this is this is what I want, right? Now I card block. Now he tries, fails, fortifies, and then I use the trade to slam that. If a twenty-one v thirty-four wins, I'll be sad. Use the Mexico cap to clean everything and sit in Camp Jacket. He has Pink's cap, which is Irkutsk, I think. So I would open his capital. 
if I if I sit in Kamchatka. And also, these are cards I can take while maintaining a card block. Right? These are cards I can take without opening a cap. Anything in here opens a cap to take a card. So I don't care about holding the bonus. I care about the cards I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six cards. That's worth double this. That's worth 200 troops, these six cards. God, dice coming? Yeah. Did he get a fortify off? He didn't get a fortify off. So that's nice. I actually don't need to trade. And now I get to hold the wild. Trade with the cavalry and I get to hold the wild. Should be Jeej. We end up getting a banger of a game again? Special, special day. Easy card block now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be able to get him. It's actually been a while since I've had to card block somebody. Like, uh, cause I, I did cut back on playing these settings. And then in the Europe advanced games, because I've been playing differently, I've been playing to try to play super snowball -y, super aggro, super risky, and it either works or it doesn't. So we don't really get to those end games where it's like card block city, right? And generally, I guess if we get into a card block 1v1 scenario, usually we can card block them pretty quick. But Europe Advanced doesn't necessarily have those as much because of the bots. <coughs> yeah, good game. Are you going to fortify or this time? Or? Nope. Sixty-nine is the perfect amount. Cool. A Doyle rules. Let's uh. Oh wait, I actually can keep the two point doing this. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because these don't connect. Cool. Cool. Do Gando with the subscription from RJ. RJ with the gift sub. Thank you, bro. Hope you're doing well, man. Oh, he's <clears throat> now he's chilling. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. Taste it, baby boy. That'll do. <laughs> Next. You gonna try again? There it is. Hmm. I think that's all of them. I think that was both of his caps that came off. Yeah, that's all he's got. Good game, well played, man. Let's go! Dude, sick game. You missed the pink kill, that's only 14 out of 15. Old Kilted would have gone 16 out of 15. I missed the pink kill. How? I was about to kill pink. He just got the chance first. What are you talking about? It was pink or green. I made the right choice. Dude, nice lobby. Black was a grandmaster. Pink was an expert. We had two intermediates. Hell yeah. What a good game, man. Classic progressive capitals usually last a long time, but you get a little bit of fiesta in there and you can actually have a fun, enjoyable, quicker game on it. So thank you for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.